Davis against his former teammate Jaden Ivey. Pulls it up and knocks it down. He's got 23. He left Jaden Ivey in the dust. He Here is Johnny Davis, the sophomore from across Wisconsin, averaging 21 points a game, third best in the league. Mid range jumper, no. Weak side put back, yes, for Tyler Live from outside the arc. Another three. Mason Gillis hits the first of the game. Oh, but they had three guys in the rotation out in that victory against Illinois State last time Wisconsin did. But now they have everybody back and healthy for the first time in over a month. Three from the wing again, and Gillis knocks down another one. You gave the numbers for Gillis with the sophomore. Season high 10 points the last couple of games for Purdue. Good start here. And then a miss for Davis. Follows it up, and there's his first bucket. Here game. Pass inside, Crowell, and a good pass from Waddle off last game. Even though he did score 20, it took him 23 shot attempts to get there. Now he's one of four tonight. Needy, dangerous pass. Mid-range jump shot, and that's good for Eric have 18 points, 12 rebounds, whatever. I mean, he, he is ultra productive when he gets out there. I mean, the per 40 for he and Williams combined is just absolutely ridiculous, stunning. How good those two are yet never playing together. There's a nice shot on the baseline for Johnny Davis. Really in the Ken Palm era. That's Johnny Davis off the catch, going and making a play, getting to that pull-up that we've talked about so much. Well, we didn't have any turnovers for the first six and a half minutes. Now two of them on back-to-back -back possessions for Purdue and back-to-back. -back. Johnny Davis with six points here early. First, it's the pull-up goal. Well, in all season, really. Davis winds it up. Weak side, there's another offensive rebound. This one for Carter Gilmore. And a reset. Good shot fake for Johnny Davis, and he knocks it down. He already has eight. Oh, there is nobody blocking. Johnny Davis, who has eight so far, looking for double figures, lost his feet, and it's ripped out of there by Gillis. This is what Ivy likes to take his Euro step. Instead, he's going to be called for the charge, and that's key. Bobby, that's seven from outside the arc. We talked about how that's not their game. Williams will try it for deep. How about that? Travion Williams going for Purdue early, and finally the crowd gets something to cheer about off the Travion Williams pick and pop. And then Brad Davison. They do bounce it in there late in the shot clock. Edie going to work. Great spin move, and he got it. I love the play. Purdue is patient. The ball swings around. Zach Edie ends up with single coverage. I think Greg Gard is thinking, I, I can't post double from a consistent source right now because it, it'll it, it will get solved. Even Crow on certain nights. I think Chucky Hepburn is definitely capable. I think Tyler Wall, though, is the best option. This Wisconsin defensive effort ooh, has been fantastic. That was excellent by Johnny Davis to not only block it, but then to save it. He's a true two-way player. I mean, he is a good defensive player. Step back three. There's the first triple of the night. It comes from Chucky Hepburn. Going. Offensive rebound, Edie. Back into him. Power step, and he hooks it up and in. Three, shooting the ball at 73%. Pass over the top. Great feed from Davis. To Both teams trading buckets. Here's Zach Eady. Excuse me. Here's Johnny Davis. Brad Davison in some trouble. Here's Carter Gilmore. Trying to back down Ethan Morton. And they're going to say he traveled. And now Sasha Stefanovic getting the crowd to come to life. Top of the arc. Oh, boy. Picks up the personal. He is playing with some fire. He just gave Don Daly an air pull over the foul that got called. But to get the crowd into it, all of a sudden, this Let's see if Purdue does indeed try to go inside here to Travion Williams. Well, Chucky Hepburn knocks it free, and he picks it up and finds Davis. Wow. What a sequence for Wisconsin. Boy, what an effort. And how about Chucky Hepburn just sizing up Isaiah Thompson and taking his ball? Isaiah Thompson now trying to make up for it. Throws up an air ball at Wisconsin. Steals back that momentum that Purdue hit gained right before intermission. It's a nightmare. One of 12 from outside the arc. But as you were talking about, Robbie, they've been able to do it in the painted area. Speaking of the painted area, good start for Purdue. A tested jumper. 
Long rebound coming to Thompson. Ivy ties us up at 29. No surprise to see Jaden Ivy aggressive here in the second. See, they got the smaller Thompson right now guarding Johnny Davis. He's trying to take advantage, and he does. I love the fact mm -hmm. that Johnny Davis was so aware of Trevion Williams. He's got the, Isaiah, the smaller Isaiah Thompson on his back time. He's got 13 to lead all scores. Now Ivy on the other end against the defensive Davis. And Williams, big offensive rebound. Great kick out to Ivy. Okay, there was inconclusive. Jaden Ivey, by the way, does go out for Purdue. Set play for Brad Davison, and he knocks it down. 253 career threes, second all-time in a Badger uniform. Williams going to work to guard the post. It's just, to me, it's not a good rule. Well, and for Edie, the other tough thing is at 7-4, when he turns, his elbow is at the neck. If he's 6-11, it's at the chest of the player. and maybe doesn't look so egregious. Stefanovic knocks it down from deep. A timeout by Greg Gard as he senses, and you all hear it, that Boiler Nation is loud inside Mackey Arena. Timeout. So Purdue counters by going right inside, and Edie gets it to drop. Brad Davis should let that go. Yeah. That was a rare bad decision by Jaden Ivey in transition. It's not that numbers, but Purdue getting back. Davis fading away. Got it. Uh, I'll be honest with you, Brandon. There's a lot of good players. Officials are actually being a little more lenient with yeah. this year. Ivy with a hesitation to blow by. How about that burst? I mean, that's going to lead for Purdue at seven. Underneath votes, throwing it down, and the foul as well on Travion Wood. Wonderful work for his hometown after such a tragic incident. Yeah, kudos to Chris Poe for those efforts. Really inspired. And a nice move by Johnny Davis. And all of a sudden, he's really come on the last four or five games. But Davis boots that. Now Williams. Oh, he took off. Him. How about that? And because of that, Davis was able to block it. But it all leads to a Stefanovic three. And Stefanovic, he thought he hit that. He was walking back on defense as it was in the air. Or Steph Curry-esque. In the air. He was rolling back. Ends up being short. Trevion Williams jumped from like 16 feet right there. What a play by Johnny Davis. And what a play by Chucky Hepburn. And Wisconsin right back with it. Davis against his former teammate Jaden Ivey. Pulls it up and knocks it down. He's got 23. Left Jaden Ivey in the dust. He laid it. This is a treat. This matchup right here. Two of the best players in the country. Look at the way Ivey flipping out. They, they, Purdue loves to run that. Lauren Bowman, really physical, blew the play. But Lauren Bowman may have gotten called for a foul. Inside, Edie will draw the foul. The bucket does not count, but... This point in the game. Now, Jaden Ivey, these two, they know each other so well. Ivey trying to take it right at him. How about the follow by the big fella? Meanwhile, Purdue, they've been much more balanced. Stefanovic, though, he's had a quiet night, making a little noise right there, his second... Pulling up, off the mark. What a rebound that was by Gilmore. Davison on the reload. A huge sequence for Wisconsin and regain. Knocking down the biggest three for him of the night. Nine big offensive rebounds for Wisconsin. Edie, boy, he just buried Ben Wall. Four fouls, Crow four fouls. Corner three, wide open, in and out for Gilmore. Ivy. Down the lane. Extra pass. Here's Morton. Tap back. Edie, no. Second time, yes. Crowell not fouled. And Crowell with four personals. Vote has already fouled out. Davison curling around and knocking it down. Brad Davison. Cross court skip. There's Davis. He'll take that all night and he buries it. What a game for Davis. 33, a new career high. How can you lose him? I mean, Ethan Morton is in the lane. He's the help defender, but you. Tough assignment for Ethan Morton, another sophomore. 
Step back. Hit another one. Foot on the line. It's a two. But Wisconsin has matched their largest lead with a minute to play. And a timeout is taken by Matt Painter. Inside to Edie. Edie. Little running hook. Counted to the foul. Well, that's just what... Now you don't want to foul. Yeah, now you're inside of 10. And Johnny Davis, this is his time to operate. Deep three. And he airballs it. Honestly, for Wisconsin, you run off 27 seconds. You sit. But at any rate, Purdue trying to get it inside again. Edie, yes. One possession game. And now Matt Painter. All things considered, just a, an impressive job for Greg Gard and his crew. So now Travion Williams is going to throw a baseball pass down to Edie. Boy, oh, that was pass. well executed. Holy cow. Only took a little over a second off, and Matt Painter's trying to call a timeout. And they're going to go ahead and green nine, 11.4 remaining. Again in some trouble. Gilmore, they have no timeouts. Well, they get it into Davison. He got, got a foul. foul. Johnny Davis on the leak out of the slam, and that's your exclamation mark. Purdue thought they had fouled. There was no whistle. And Wisconsin's going to do it. Behind 37 points from Johnny Davis, they come into West Lafayette, a place that they have historically struggled mightily, and they get the victory 74 6.